Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. In today's Gospel reading from St. Matthew, we read that Jesus Christ had come, and there was a multitude surrounding him. And a man came and fell on his feet, on his knees before Jesus. And he said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and into the water. We know in modern science that epilepsy is a terrible disease. But I think a lot of us forget in the modern world that we live in that all disease, including epilepsy and all those diseases, are actually from the evil one. They are not the natural order from God. Instead, because we live in a fallen world, diseases such as epilepsy and so forth come and visit themselves upon us. But Christ cast out the demon of epilepsy because all sickness is from the evil one. All sickness is the root of demon uh, activity. And so Christ came and the epileptic man came to him and or his father came to him and said, my son has epilepsy and he often falls into the fire and into the water. Of course, the fire and the water are metaphors for the hot passions and the cold passions of our life. The hot passions of uh, sin are lust and uh, drunkenness and all of those passions that are so uh, drive us and grab us by our uh, very being and shake us and try to control us. And those represent the hot passions and the Water represents the cold passions, the passions of neglect and uh, not caring and being self-centered and those, those uh, passions that uh, are not so hot but are just as sinful as the hot passions. And he said, I brought it to your disciples and they could not cure it. I bet the disciples were a little upset. Huh? And Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. We heard this a couple weeks ago when Jesus told the disciples to feed the 5,000. And they came and they said, we only have five loaves and two fishes. How are we going to feed 5,000 people? And he said, bring them here to me. And we learned that example that if we took our cares and our problems to Christ, He will find the solution. He has the solution. He is the solution for our problems. And again, in today's Gospel reading, bring Him here to me. The disciples have been up here in the epilogue. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. You see, when Jesus does that, when he cures somebody, when he heals someone, it's instantaneous. And he cures him from that very hour. And then the disciples, they came to Jesus privately because they were very upset that they didn't have the power of Jesus Christ. And they came to him and they said, why could we not cast it out? And what did Jesus say to them? He said, because of your unbelief. Their faith was weak. Just as in our modern day, Christians, we as Christians, oftentimes our faith is weak. Because our faith is weak, we cannot produce the miracles that Jesus produced. We always have doubts. We always have seven thoughts. Our focus is not totally and complete on Jesus Christ and the kingdom of heaven, or we would be able to produce these miracles also through the name of Jesus Christ. But always we have something interfering with something that keeps us from having that perfect faith that has such power. And he said, because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here, and it will move, and nothing, nothing will be impossible. But he goes on to warn them, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So he was telling his disciples, you must pray and fast if you are going to have the kind of faith that you need in order to cast out these demons such as this epilepsy. Nothing goes out except by prayer and fasting. This kind is not 
So he gives that to us as examples as Christians in this modern day, that we also are to pray and fast. It will increase our faith. And if it increases our faith, then we will have the power, the power of God, to go out and to help others and to make a real difference in their lives. And then he went on to tell the disciples something very important that they probably just, they heard it, but it just went right over their head. It went one in one ear and out the other, as they said. And they were staying in Galilee, and Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be traded into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and the third day he will be raised up. He was telling his disciples that they were going to kill him, but he would rise on the third day. And so why did on after the crucifixion, the disciples were so despondent. They were gathered in a room, wondering what to do now. Here they had killed Jesus Christ. They forgot. They didn't listen. They didn't remember that Jesus told them he would rise on the third day. They were so consumed with their own fears, their own depression, their own despondence, that they could not remember the promises Jesus Christ saying the rise on the third day. And even more so, their faith was not strong enough that they had the faith that Jesus Christ would do what he said he would do. Another example of their lack of belief, their lack of faith. Faith and belief are so important to us as Christians. We must exercise it and grow it in order to make it strong. And if we don't grow it and make it strong, then when problems confront us, such as the epileptic man, such as the death of Jesus Christ, such as in our own lives, the problems that we face in our own lives, the problems, the crises, if we don't have the faith that we have built and made strong, then we don't have the ability to face it and overcome it at the time when we need it the most. And we become despondent and despair and then our faith weakens even more and it becomes like a whirlpool and drags us down. Take to heart this today this wonderful gospel reading. Pray fast. Pray and fast. Pray and fast. Ask God to help us. To strengthen us. Help us to get our faith that it is strong as can be. Because that is the only thing that can help us to problem.